Good morning class. We are going to talk about the nutritional pyramid today. The nutritional pyramid com consists of um, different food groups that we each eat every day. What kind of food do you guys love to eat? I want you guys to think about that question while we are going through each of these uh, food groups. All right, this is the um, nutritional pyramid. And the first group that we are going to talk about today is the grain group. The grain group, as you can see, consists of bread, cereals, rice, and pasta. We are uh, supposed to have about 6 to 11 servings a day of uh, the grain group. The main uh, nutrients in the grain group are the carbohydrates and fiber. The next group that we are going to talk about today are the vegetables. Um, we are supposed to have 3 to 5 servings of vegetables a day. Um, the main nutrients uh, for the vegetable group is vitamin A, C, potassium, and fiber. The fruit group contains all fruits, and we are to have two to four servings of fruit daily. The main nutrients for the fruit group is vitamin A, C, potassium, and fiber. The milk group contains milk, yogurt, and cheese. We are to have two to three servings of milk each day. Uh, this group gives us a great source of calcium. The meat group consists of meat, poultry, fish, dry beans, eggs, and nuts. We are to have two to three servings of the meat group each day. The meat group gives us a great source of uh, protein and iron. And the last group that we have is the other group, which consists of our fats, oils, and sweets. Um, we are to um, use these just sparingly. The other food group does not have enough nutrients to uh, fit into any of the other uh, food groups, so that is why it's in the others. We have just touched a little bit briefly on the nutritional pyramid, and tomorrow we will go more in detail on why um, all of these nutrients are so good for our body. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.